Now, Charlie, you and Merrill are in China and involved with the new tourism initiative between the U.S. and that nation. What can you tell me about it? Sorry, can you take that one? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, we're here in Beijing celebrating the 2016 U.S.-China Tourism Year with Visa. We're very proud to be a part of Team Visa and this incredible initiative. We get to travel the world all the time for skating events and other things like that, but to be here and get a chance to not necessarily be on the ice, but to see the sites, celebrate the history, and what a great, chi what a great place China is to come to is, is really an honor for us. I mean, both of you can answer this one. What's your favorite place to visit in China? I can't. I actually can't hear. You. Okay, uh, our favorite place to visit in China. You know, it's interesting because we've we're fortunate enough to get a couple different places um, in in our, in our in our visits to China. We've been to Shanghai, to Beijing, um, and I think getting a chance to really tour different different parts of the country is so important because you really get a different taste of, of the cultures and what it's like in different parts of the country. But um, I think our favorite place in China is probably the Great Wall. We've been a couple of times now and it's just, you know, there's a reason it's, it's a wonder of the world. It really is just magnificent and to be standing at the top is a memory we hope everyone gets to make at some point in their lives. Now I understand there's an event at the Great Wall coming up. Could you tell me about that? That's right. Charlie and I are going to be leading a group of American tourists to the top of the Great Wall. We're going to warm them up a little bit and then have a hike to the top where we'll have a champagne toast uh, celebrating what a beautiful place this is to be. And we know everyone's really excited and we just can't believe that this is an opportunity that we get to have. So very honored. Sounds awesome. Now, the World Figure Skating Championships are a, a start really soon. Which skaters or ice dancers have been to you the right. biggest pleasant surprises so far this season? This season, yeah, I mean, I, I think we're definitely partial for, to the ice dance event. Uh, it's our passion, it, it's something that we love. And um, I think that the ice dancers have really been doing an amazing job the last couple of years, not only um, internationally, but in particular, our American skaters we're always very proud of. Uh, Maya and Alex Shubatani are, are the new national champions, and they've really stepped it up this year. Um, and we have a couple of other incredibly strong American teams as well. So leading into the World Championships, I think that uh, I think it's going to be a really great competition. Now, I've heard you say many times in recent history that you're leaving the door to competition open still. If you look at yourself six months ago, as opposed to where you are right now, is that door wider open or closed more? Um, would you say that our, after, <laughs> that's a tough question. That's an interesting question that we haven't actually been asked before, but uh, in terms of whether or not the door is wide open to return to competition or um, if we, we feel like we wouldn't be ready to go back to competition, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I, I mean, it's it's almost for us, it's more of a mindset, you know, and it, it, it's kind of, I mean, it's it's a tough call, right? I mean, we, we've, we've had so much success and, and we've been through so much and, and recognize what it takes. Um, you know, I think we'll, we'll leave the door open, but I, you know, we, we still have some searching, I think, ourselves. That's fair. Meryl, right after Sochi, we saw you <laughs> win Dancing with the Stars. What's your best piece of advice for the 12 couples who just okay. started? My best piece of advice for the couples starting Dancing with the Stars, I would say just have fun. It's, it's such a different, it's such a unique experience. Um, and I think that one of the most amazing things about it is that you're getting to meet people from all different careers, different uh, walks of life. And so to be able to interact with these people, learn from them, and hopefully form lasting relationships with them is, I think, one of the most rewarding things about it. So having fun and, and getting to know people on the show, I think, is probably the most important part. Now, Charlie was there, too. I remember uh, Charlie and Sharna. Same question to Charlie. 
That's right. What was your favorite part of Dancing with the Stars? Um, yeah, I think it was uh, actually just learning how to properly ballroom dance. I mean, it's 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 a wonderful TV show. The production is amazing. Um, but you know, ice dancing is so similar to ballroom dance. It was really uh, just a blast to really learn like this very specific steps. You know, from Latin to waltz to foxtrot. So that that was fun for me. Now I've got one more that you'll have to relay over to Charlie for me. Now I knew he married Tannis Belden almost a year ago. Um, sure. Congratulations. And I wanted to know if anything about <laughs> being married has proven surprising. Has anything about being married surprised you? <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, yeah. I think how little has changed in our relationship and you know everyone's like oh my god you're getting married you know it's, everything's gonna change and um, you know maybe it, it was because my, my wife and I had been together for, for almost seven years before we got married but um, really I mean everything was, was pretty much the same so we're gonna have to wrap up unfortunately we would send everyone to visa.com for more information and uh, we just want to thank you so much for having us on perfect thank you thank you have a good day Thank you.